Hey everybody, we're gonna do a Waymo versus Tesla FSD 12.5.1.1 test. So let's hit the start on the Waymo, get it to go, and we'll hit start on FSD as well. So they're both off, I think they're gonna take the same route. Let's go. All right, we're starting off on Rodeo Drive. There's the Waymo right in front of us. I think it's got the exact same route. So we should be pretty much following each other. Okay, someone was almost entering the crosswalk, the Tesla brake, that was good. Now we're gonna make a right turn onto Santa Monica Boulevard here. The light is green. And it looks like the Waymo is going straight. Oh, okay, so we're actually going straight as well. So I thought the right turn was back there, but it's actually over here. Bunch of pedestrians. The Waymo proceeds. The Tesla proceeds. Very good. Oh, and it looks like Tesla is going around the Waymo in the bus. <laughs> leaving the Waymo in the dust. The Waymo wasn't smart enough to go around the bus when it had the chance. So let's see, can we beat the Waymo there? Looks like we're going to. But it's anyone's race at this point. Beautiful night here in Los Angeles. The sun is going down. Next, we're going to make a right onto Beverly Boulevard. Yep, still stuck behind the bus. <laughs> so the Waymo says six minutes to drop off. The Tesla says four minutes to drop off. All right, we're changing lanes back over to the right. Very smooth. Very comfortable, very elegant. Much more human-like than the way most driving, in my opinion, and you can kind of see it here as they start the same drive and drive the same route side by side. All right, now we need to make a right onto Beverly Boulevard. There are some cyclists and pedestrians. There's a little kid on a bike. And other people in the crosswalk. It's waiting for them, which is good. And all of this is happening with just cameras in the computer vision system compared to all that hardware you saw on the Waymo. And yet it's still beating the Waymo to the destination. Smooth, confident, when it knows it's time to go, it goes. Next up, we need to make a right turn onto Robertson Boulevard in half a mile.
long now. We're getting closer to our right turn. There's Robertson Boulevard. We're going to make a right turn here. And there you go. We made it to our destination. Now let's see where the Waymo is. The Waymo is about one minute away. It's turning on to Robertson Boulevard right now. So let's see. Oh, there it is. That's our Waymo. So we actually beat the Waymo here by just a minute. And we did it without all those ridiculous sensors on top of the Waymo. So, didn't get to see much of the Waymo's driving, but there you go. Tesla FSD versus Waymo comparison. Both were able to do the same drive without any intervention. The Tesla did it using just computer vision, and it did it a little bit faster. Thanks for watching. Looking at the receipt for the Waymo, you can see the difference in the route chosen. The Waymo turned right a little bit earlier and then came back and turned the other way so that it could drop the passenger off on the side where the restaurant is. That way they wouldn't have to cross the street after exiting the Waymo. So the Waymo took a slightly longer route. It took about an extra minute to get there, but it was able to come around on the other side and drop that passenger off on the same side as the restaurant whereas the Tesla kind of just got onto that street and did what an ADAS system would do. So this explains the difference. Overall, the two systems did pretty much exactly the same thing, but Tesla did it with just computer vision, and the Waymo came around to the other side.